Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Homemade pot pies are delicious, comforting, and satisfying for the heartiest of appetites. Thick, rich gravy, vegetables, and tender pieces of meat surrounded by a crispy, flaky crust. It's a complete meal in one dish. When there's no time to make a homemade pot pie, store-bought frozen pot pies will get the job done. Although, not nearly as good or healthy as homemade pot pies. There's also pot pies in a can that are epic fails with no crust, and are more like a soup than they are a hearty delicious pot pie. But there's also pot pies in cans that are real pot pies with a crust. I'm talking about Fray Bento's pies from the UK. I tried their steak and kidney pie a while back and was informed my opinion was wrong because I ate it wrong. And the top of the puff pastry crust was beautiful, flaky, and crispy. But the crust underneath was doughy and chewy, which I thought was because it was undercooked. So I scooped it off and didn't eat it. My viewers from the UK told me that's how it's supposed to be. Doughy and chewy, and it's absolutely delicious in their favorite part. Ever since then, I've wanted to try another one. So I got a different flavor pie this time. Even though the steak and kidney pie was delicious, I wanted to try another flavor. I got the deep fill steak and ale pie, which is tender pieces of steak drenched in a delicious real ale gravy, topped with Fray Bento's signature puff pastry. Even though there's quite a few ingredients in here, which is pretty normal for prepared and canned foods, the beef is actually real beef and not some garbage mixed with various sorts of proteins and other fillers. I'm not sure what the 25% next to the beef means. Does that mean the beef takes up 25% of this pot pie? If so, where's the beef? It's a steak and ale pie. The beef should be at least 50% if that's what the 25% means. Then there's margarine, which I don't see a whole lot in foods here in the States, which contains a very controversial palm oil. I was actually surprised this contains real ale, which it should, because it's a steak and ale pie after all. But there's quite a few foods that I've tried that said they contain an IPA or Pilsner, etc., which none of them really did. They say this pie is two servings, but realistically, it's only one. So for the whole pie, there's 748 calories, 38.4 grams of total fat, 4.4 grams of saturated fat, 65.2 carbohydrates, 4.4 grams of sugars, 34 grams of protein, and 4.4 grams of salt, which equates to 1,705 milligrams of sodium, which is how it's listed here in the US. The best buy date is 2018, which I'm sure it'll last a lot longer than that. You don't see this very often on processed foods, may contain bones, which to me is a great sign, or at least I think it is, because I would take that to mean it's real meat and it's minimally processed, but I could be wrong. I was wrong once. From the picture on the can, it looks absolutely delicious. Let's just hope it looks like that when it's done and it tastes good. I find this pretty funny. With a warning like this, you know a future Darwin Award winner baked it in the oven without having the common sense it would explode if they didn't take the lid off. Here's what you can expect when you first open the can, and I've got to say, this one looks a lot better than the steak and kidney pie did. The directions say to preheat your oven to 450 degrees and of course, remove the lid. Place the open can on a baking sheet and bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until the crust is risen and is golden brown. I've gotta say, from about 20 minutes after it went into the oven until the time it was finished, the aroma was killing me. It smelled absolutely fantastic. After right at 30 minutes, it was beautifully golden brown and I couldn't take it anymore. I had to cut into it and put it in my belly. Just like the steak and kidney pie, the puff pastry crust is amazing, flaky, and crispy. Look at that. It's pretty funny. With that beautiful crispy crust, I was really looking more forward to the soggy chewy part after hearing how good it is and missing out on it the last time. But in order to get to the soggy dough, I had to go through the crispy part first which is absolutely delicious. Then I tried a small piece of the chewy dough to start off with, which was as described, delicious. Before I really dig in here, let's flip the crust over and take a look at the inside. It's definitely not the most appetizing filling, but neither was the steak and kidney pie, and it was still delicious. The chunks of meat are pretty small, but you can tell immediately that it's all real meat, which is a very nice surprise compared to most of the other foods I tried that are loaded with soy protein and other fillers. The pieces of meat are really tender and delicious.
I switch from a fork to a spoon to get a good taste of the gravy along with some of the soggy dough. The gravy is rich, savory, and delicious. And I'm starting to see what the people in the UK were talking about with the soggy dough. Now I'm really wishing I had eaten the dough in the other pie. The one thing I would really love in this is some vegetables, but I'm pretty sure that's not traditional. I had already eaten enough of the pie to give you my thoughts on it, but unlike most of the other foods I try, I continued to eat this and actually ate the whole thing. I really couldn't get enough of it fast enough. It was rich, savory, and delicious. But bigger and more pieces of meat would have sent it over the top. With that said, in my new understanding of the soggy pastry dough, I'm giving Fray Bento Steak and Ale Pie a score of 9 out of 10. If you want to try one of these, and I recommend you do, I'll leave a link in the description box of where you can get them. Fray Bento's meat pies are like Stacy's mom. They got it going on. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, please consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or, you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.